the Atlantic Ocean. 33 million square miles of open sea. Separating the old world of Europe and Africa from the new world of the Americas. Experience an ocean journey unlike any other. A chance to escape reality and indulge in life's greatest pleasures, where every day is yours alone. And dinner menus and cruise trivia are your biggest challenges. Join Bram and Melly on board the Norwegian Joy. 11 Days at Sea Welcome on board, my name is Bram and in this video I'll have you experience the cruise the best I can. No port visits, no excursions, just the NCL Joy and all she has to offer. I could tell you what it's like and talk about it, but that's not what I do. I'll show you. Welcome to Bram Sees the Day. Frequently asked question number one, is 11 days at sea boring? Today I'll take you to breakfast at the buffet, we'll take a look at what has changed in the observation lounge, I'll share last night's drink at Mix Bar, the Beatles life on stage, dinner at Cagney's and today's visit at Q Texas Smokehouse, the District Brew House and stand-up comedy at the local. <laughs> A very good morning to you from somewhere in the Atlantic on board the Norwegian Joy. Today is day 10 of our cruise and finally the sun has come out. Still pretty chilly, so I doubt that I'd be jumping in that pool today, but it's nice enough to make me wonder where I put my sunglasses. Actually, one of my biggest questions I had before I booked this cruise was the weather. And how do I pack, you know, winter time, summer time? Obviously, I, I did both, but still, going from Southampton to Miami, when does the weather change from Southampton, UK, mid-February to Miami Beach? And my questions have been answered. Not. Or not really. The weather on the transatlantic ocean is so unpredictable. If you're planning on booking a transatlantic cruise, I would uh, recommend to expect the worst, but also be prepared for the best. Now I must say I've really enjoyed this cruise. It's truly relaxing knowing you're not going anywhere or anywhere soon. It's kind of like the all the time in the world kind of feeling, you know what I mean? No need to put your alarm on because you want the most of your day in port. Nope, you just wake up whenever and enjoy a morning routine with a stroll to breakfast. I love it and I will definitely do it again. Another perk is that this ship is sailing at 50% capacity. Um, I've had empty elevators 95% of the time and to those that cruise a lot you know that waiting on elevators is part of it but not here. I was almost surprised when the doors of the elevator slide open and there was actually somebody in the elevator. Um, and this of course is the same for bars where you almost always get served instantly. No uh, ticket reservations needed for shows stuff like that ncl's feel free is spot on for this cruise Aha. i knew there was somewhere some people worry with cruises like this they they worry to be locked up on this cruise ship but it's the other way around really it's freedom you have the 
wide open ocean all around you. I love it. Now there's a lot more I want to talk about, but the sun is out and there's two days left on this cruise and I will make the most of it. Starting off with a quick breakfast at the buffet and I'll get back to you. Twelve days on the ship, still don't know which way to go. Last night was fun by the way. We had uh, we started quite early. We had some drinks at the mix bar, and after that, um, a great dinner at Cagney Steakhouse. Wait, I said I wouldn't talk about it, and I'll show you. So I'll I'll do that. About last night. We started the night early at the Mix Bar on Deck 6, located right in between two restaurants, Savor and Taste, making it a perfect pre-dinner bar. Pro tip if you want the full experience with the piano player, check the Freestyle Daily to see when he's playing and pre-plan your visit. He only played one or two sets of 45 minutes, so aim wisely or be lucky. Melly is having NCL's House Gin, the 66, with tonic. This gin is $18, so not included in the regular free at sea drinking package because it's over $15. But, and a lot of people don't know this, when you order drinks over $15 limit, you only pay the difference. So in this case, $3 or $4. But I see the full price listed on my receipt. So something went wrong. The grand total says zero, but only because it's charged to our cabin. So check your receipts. It's a big hassle getting it corrected later. Of course, this wasn't done on purpose. The bartender just hit the wrong button. But I'll, I'll ask him. I thought it was just uh, up to Can I ask you a question? On, uh, on previous bars where we had the 66 and tonic, we would pay the difference between... Yeah, I think it charged it wrong. And I think the last one also, but I didn't read it right. I was just looking at the zero and now I'm looking at a different... Can you still check the previous one? He can check it. Okay, thank you. He's gonna do it. Alright, thank you. Otherwise, I smack his <laughs> Hey, maybe he likes this. Yeah, maybe that's not a good idea then. I don't know him that well, so. There was no spanking reported and the bill was quickly adjusted. Let's squeeze in some Beatles before dinner. Good evening and welcome to the Joy Theater. Please welcome to the stage your cruise director, Jake. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much as always. We're going to welcome in to the joint theater. It's going to be a very, very fun show. But I won't say too much um, because we're all here for one reason, and that is to, of course, enjoy the Beatles. Now, I always say this all the time. You know, the cavern is where the Beatles started off, and on this ship it is far too small and a lot 
too small for what we'd like it. Whenever we get the opportunity to, I always like to get the guys here in the theatre because you can see lots of people like to enjoy them uh, and this is the biggest space that we have. So yeah, sit back and enjoy. If the mood takes you, if the music takes you, feel free to sing along. Dance in the aisles, dance where you're sitting, I don't mind. Uh, it's a great show, it's great, great music. But let's give the boys a nice warm welcome. Put your hands together, make some noise. The incredible Beatles story! <laughs> think it's me But you know I know I need to breathe Let me take you down I was happy we squeezed this in because the band was definitely worth it. But now I'm ready for a Cagney Steakhouse. Yeah. Mm. Just in the kitchen. Open the uh, open kitchen. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, good evening. 15196, right? Yes, you were expecting us. And I brought the coupon. Thank you. Thank you. 
For me, also the two notes of tar, and then the eight ounce menu. <laughs> And some uh, beer and some and some fries. Thank you. Thank you. You? Tomato? Tomato. <laughs> so tomato. <laughs> Tomato with onions. Oh. And balsamico or? Yeah, here. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> now you know. Mm -hmm. The things you do for this channel so people would know what it is. It's a tomato. And sacrifices you make. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I wouldn't eat it, otherwise I'm full and I can eat my... Yeah, I would prioritize the steak yeah. over the... Oh no, you're getting the uh, lamb chops? Lamb chops. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Looks good. Thank you. Side is coming. All right, that's it. You still need this one? No, you can take the bread and use some lid. <laughs> More space. Thank you. How you doing? In a fancy restaurant, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares. Yeah. He wants every bit of Ooh. the meat. Fire on the kitchen. So it's now 9.48, right? Do we again save an hour tonight? They didn't say? We have to uh, have a look at the Billy Daily. Billy Daily. <laughs> and so last night it was not on the plan. So they, they write it. So I always think it's every two days. So we'll maybe they do it tomorrow night. Yeah, maybe. It's only one left. One hour left. They did it four times already, and they have to do it one more time to be in Miami time. But right. we, we have now five hours. Vulture. Southampton. Thank you. Sure. All right, thank you. I had a Southampton thing we have in here. So it's five hours between Southampton and Miami. Do you have a... For tipping? What's a red red? A brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's my last ten, huh? So it Plus. would have been one hundred and sixty-one dollars. One sixty-one down. Zero. Thanks to me that I don't drink sixty-six. No, it's no, this was the box. I know. It doesn't count. After that, we went to the um, glow party. And that was held in the local. All open deck parties were held in the local because of the weather. This cruise, by the way. And we ended up closing the place at 2 a.m. I know. Tonight is all about the uh, Q, the Texas Smokehouse. They have some live country music playing. Now, those that know me know I'm not a big fan of country music, but I hear the band is very good. And when it comes to live music, as long as it's done right, I can enjoy any kind of music. So looking forward to that. Um, just don't expect to see me line dancing or anything. Uh, 
A funny way to remind people to wash their hands before the buffet, but why do I feel I'm the only one? Come on! My name is Rowan. Good morning, everyone. Enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Morning, can I get uh, two eggs sunny side up please? Hey, morning. Oh. How are you? One question. I'm oh, just talking about you. I want to know where are you from? Belgium. Belgium. Oh, so you speak Flemish. Flemish, yeah. Dutch, yeah. Flemish. Dutch, yeah. Flemish. Ah, oh, okay. My husband is a big fan of yours. <laughs> Your video. Oh my lord. Yeah, you are celebrity. Leave me some comments, yeah. Yes, and uh, you will. I look forward to that picture uh, yeah, yes, on yes, uh, yes, Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. Morning. Yes. yes. It's right here. It's Bram sees a day. Bram sees a day. Good morning. When I cruise, and especially on NCL, I meet a lot of people that watch my channel. Now, for the record, I love meeting you. I always wonder who's on the other side of the screen, so don't hesitate to say hello. And you get bonus points if you call me a celebrity. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, but that was very sweet of her. I'll give you an idea of what's on offer for breakfast this morning, but really quick because I absolutely hate being in other people's way just because uh, I want to film the food. I'm in the way of the people that actually want to eat the food, so I try not to. Now let's follow the bacon all the way forward. I like this area. This is my go-to spot whenever I'm at the buffet because it seems more relaxed and quiet here. Also the views to the front of the ship are added value. We are one deck up from the observation lounge and you know what? Let's go check it out. This is one of the areas they changed in dry dock. They added a row of haven cabins on one side. Why? Well, <laughs> it wasn't because they were 25 cabins short every cruise. Why did they expand Vibe Beach Club? Because it makes more money. More money than the laser tag. And why add a thermal spa? Because it makes more money than the arcade games at Galaxy Pavilion. So why these cabins? Right. Did that make the observation lounge smaller? Sure did. It's still nice though.
very first time in this 10-day cruise to Spice H2O. I know. If, if somebody would have told me you're not going to do Spice H2O for the first 10 days of your cruise, I would not have believed them at all. But now it is time for Spice H2O and a... Uh, Funky colored tropical fruity sweet cocktail adult beverage drink thing. I'm ready for it. Yeah, it makes sense not being in, uh, in spice when the weather sucks, but it sure is a different, it's a different cruise when the sun is out. She's not alive, but she is. She's right here at Spice. Yeah. Catch the last. Uh, Reading her book. Uh, it's Netflix. <laughs> it's Love is Blind on Netflix. Dubbed in German. Amazing television. Things you do on a cruise. Eh? You know what? I'm ready for a funky colored tropical adult beverage. Colorful. For the last Question? night, it's maybe a bit rough. Uh, maybe I'll wait. I'll wait a little bit. <laughs> Not yet. Sir, could I get... I've been dreaming about a mango meltdown for months. Can I bother you for that? Look at that. Thank you, sir. Pull your camera up. It's my car. It is. This is me. It's you. But no hat. 
Cowboy. But it is nice. Mm -hmm. It is nice. Oh. 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 Yeah, the song is good. I always use it, so yeah. you'll you'll be uh, on YouTube now. I'll be back to you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be back to you. See, my office have ice water, a bottle of water to eat the store. Um, no, I for me no. I, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Me neither. Yeah. Nothing, no drink. Oh my God. You no know, water. Maybe later. No water. No water. But maybe no. later. But no. Alcoholic. Okay, so Thanks. it's okay. I'll leave it the glass here. Yeah. You are um, uh, allowed to, to have the order from the teaser, one from the teaser, mm -hmm. okay. and one from the southern and so, uh, sides, okay. one each, and then one from the main course and one for the dessert. So it composed of five, five right. choices that you have. It. But if you don't like the sides, you can order two from here and one from the main course. Okay, okay. okay so just okay. any. Uh, uh, for me, if you have any Stella, okay? I'll be back to the We're good. Thank, Thank you. you. No more Stella. She's bringing the she, bad news. Yeah. I'm going to smile. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's go all American since we're in the Texas smokehouse. Let's go for Budweiser. Budweiser. Okay, may I ask for your card? Oh. I hope you guys have finished us yesterday because that was our day off. We got a plenty of time to rest, the rest of my crew, the rest of my boys. Now I'm 85% waiting for the power of Man, I always had stories about the city lines and the crazy nights. I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow The people I met you never get to know I kind of miss this place I used to live back home Cause up here it's pregnant Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm kind of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I think I'll go back where I came I guess the slow life in the just right Like a bonfire on a cold night Hell, and you can keep your nine to five After with the simple life Yeah, I ain't here to try to change your mind Trying to save your time In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list Girl, you can skip this funny business up there it's complicated and overrated Down here everything is understated That's alright by me I got everything that I need But there is pregnant Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I think I'll go back where I came from Everybody knows Oh my God. So with cream and then with cream and then they 
So more sugar on the top. Oh. Yeah, I get through to the middle. Oh, well, looks good. Yeah. So we actually yeah. what that is. It's the uh, what's it called? Banana it's a banana pudding, pudding, but it's a long name on the menu. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Sorry, I couldn't share the original sound of the band. They were absolutely amazing, by the way. But I just don't have the budget to buy the rights to a Michael Bublé song. But join us in the District Brew House as my search for a bottle of Stella continues. another Stella and brought it all the way here to the social. Let's finish the night off with some stand-up comedy. You give love. Bad night. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the show. Your headliner has been seen on HBO, Comedy Central, CBS and he's torn with George Carlin. Please put your hands together and welcome Flip Schultz. Your bar staff here at the social, everybody. Make sure you take care of them. They're working hard for you. So welcome. Um, I just want to make sure you guys are aware, because I know there was a misprint in the Freestyle Daily. Uh, but this is the adult show. Okay? Just because some of you might have kids, some of you might have come for cleaner comedy. If you are, I'd recommend leaving right now. Because this is the adult show, there's going to be adult words, adult topics, okay? Fuck, fuck, shitty fuck, it happens, all right? Good. I won't make fun if you want to leave, I will not, but just I'm letting you know right now. With that in mind, hey everybody. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Anybody uh, get off the ship yet? No? I have to cut this episode in half to avoid creating like a Lord of the Rings trilogy, if you know what I mean. If you were here to inspire your next cruise, I hope I managed to do a little bit of that. If you were here to imagine yourself on a cruise, I hope I somewhat succeeded. Press that like button if you enjoyed watching, it helps us creators out. Leave me a comment, good or bad, I always reply. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, it's absolutely free and it motivates the heck out of me. As you can see there's more to come, I have one more episode coming up soon where I'll somewhat focus on what's new on board the NCL Joy. All the way up to disembarkation, sad faces included.
If you missed the first episode, just press the video on the left and see how it all started back in Southampton. I'll see you there. Bye for now.